Hi everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon whenever you're listening to this and yeah, welcome back to King Canvas. So here on this channel, I'm gonna try to do more short conversational and hopefully informative devotions and yes, I hope you're ready to start rolling in the deep because today we're gonna talk about the woman at the well. If you didn't get that joke, I forgive you. I'm kidding. But anyways, let's get reading. Let's look at John chapter 4 verse 1. So when the Lord learned that the Pharisees had been told that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, he left Judea and returned again to Galilee. Now he had to go through Samaria. So he arrived at the Samaritan town called Sychar, near the track of land that Jacob gave to his son Joseph, and Jacob's well was there. So Jesus, as tired as he was from his journey, sat down by the well, and it was then about the sixth hour. Then a woman from Samaria came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. Okay, so let us pause there. When I was growing up, whenever I read this text, it seemed like a very normal story of Jesus going to Samaria to talk with the Samaritan woman. But now that I've studied the text a little more, I realized that there were a lot of confusion going around the people that were surrounding Jesus that made Jesus' trip to Samaria a pretty significant one. And let me explain why. Firstly, the disciples were confused. You see, Jesus and the disciples were Jews. And back in the day, Jews and Samaritans don't see eye to eye because they worship God differently. So whenever they wanted to go to Galilee, which was where Jesus was going, they would avoid going through Samaria. In fact, they would travel through Jordan. And secondly, the Pharisees at that time were already eyeing on Jesus. So if Jesus were to go through Samaria, that would give the Pharisees more reason to come after him. So the very fact that in verse 4 it says that Jesus had to go through Samaria, this means that God the Father must have dropped this very special woman into Jesus' heart that compelled him with compassion to take the road that people would avoid. Secondly, the woman at the well was probably confused herself. You see, back in the day, no man, no Jewish teacher or rabbi should be engaging in any sort of serious conversation with a Samaritan woman who at the time was considered an outcast. And not only did Jesus do that, he asked her to offer him a drink. Here in verse 9 it says, The Samaritan woman asked him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews have nothing to do with Samaritan. Now the reason she asked this is because if Jesus were to drink from her cup, it would at that time make Jesus ceremonially unclean. So, looking at these two instances, we now know that Jesus' decision to go to Samaria wasn't a simple one. In fact, it was an intentional choice to take the road that people would avoid to reach out to a woman that he had compassion for. In fact, he was willing to look past all the cultural beliefs and practices at that time because it did not align with his mission, which is to love, to seek, and to save the lost. In Matthew chapter 18 verse 12, it says that if our God had 99 sheep, He is the type that would leave the 99 to reach out to that one sheep who is lost. And if this is how God loves us, I wonder if there are any unspoken rules, cultural expectations, or stereotypes that we need to break or bring awareness to in order to love those around us better. So let us take some time to reflect on this question today and we have come to the end of today's devotion. Do come back for part 2 where we will discuss about how Jesus communicated love to this Samaritan woman. So take care, have a good day and yeah, remember to encourage and empower one another one conversation at a time. Bye!